Good morning. It's uh, Wednesday morning here in uh, Cypress, Texas. Got a lot of noise. There's sirens going on. I can see. But, you know, police lights going on down the street here. Something's crazy happening. <clears throat> um, so I, I got up. I've been reading my scriptures this morning. It's really interesting how certain things um, pop out at you different. The same read same chapter. Well, how many days is this? You know, 27 days in a row, 28 days in a row. And I'm like, what's going on, you know? Well, what popped out at me was the eagerness of the Hivites to <laughs> to commit themselves To the Israelites, you know, to get to get circumcised, and they did they, they they all they were thinking about was the benefit to them, you know, intermarrying with them, and uh, um, having access to their their herds and and their wealth and all that. That's that's all they thought about. And it's like a like sheep to sl slaughter. That's that's exactly what happened. And uh <laughs> and you can see situations where that's that's how you know that mentality gets taken advantage of throughout history. You can tell, <clears throat> you know, and uh, you think people be wise to that, you know. And then and then that tactic it's a tactic it's been around since Genesis right huh and that's something the people fall for it all the time they're short-sighted they're not seeing. They don't, their brain's not calibrated to uh, look at the consequences of anything. That's something. I mean, huh. I learned it from. Growing up on the farm, right? Um, my mom took over the farm. Did a settlement and divorce. And us kids, I'm like 16, had to manage, like, we had 80 sow operation. And so we had all these, we just, like, took it over. Had all these hogs... We had no idea, like, when these sows were due to feral until they had started popping out baby pigs in the feral bar. You know, and it was, actually, you know, there were little pigs running all around the, 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 the big pigs. We had to catch them and put, the, put them in the feral barn and, yeah, you know, it only happened a couple times where I'm like, you know, I don't like this. You know, 
and started having you know keep, keep records so i know the gestation period of hogs right it's like three months and three days something like that and uh you know you, you start to adapt to things you know you, you see cycles but most people don't don't operate that way if you've been in the mortgage business for any period of time you'll you'll know the cycles you'll see you know rates go up um at the beginning of the summer stay up all through the summer they'll go up again right before you know thanksgiving and they'll stay up until till after January. What's what's going on there? Well, that's when people move, um, because they don't want to disrupt their their kids' school year. They move during those times because you know that's when there's the break in school. And that's something, you know. But they. Make all kinds of excuses and uh, reason for the rate increases and all that stuff, right? And uh, then, uh, you know, that's how that's how they do things, and um, it's. But if you're not paying attention, you know, you're going to, you're going to fall for that stuff. You know, you're going to fall for their reason. And that's something. So, this ain't, you know, there's all kinds of stuff going on right now. They're trying to take advantage of that complacent mindset. That lack of understanding. And... You know, and, and it's already in process. There ain't nothing you can do about it. Nothing you can do. You know, to, to just brace yourself. And that's like, that sucks. You know. The, that's amazing. All right. It's going to be a productive day. Have a great Wednesday. Bye-bye.